anniversary, I want to talk about, I want to talk about Mirage Runes. Because I'm stuck. Here we are, or here I am, uh, Mirage Runes for 224, with the maximum being 250, and I feel like I've been making so much progress. And... And I can't seem to go. When I press the retry button, it says go back to for 222. It doesn't let me go for forward. So I'm a little disappointed about this. When I go to help, I go to assign floors. I see it is said that the Mirage Runes are assigned according to the average combat power of your team. And if you clear the entire battles in the floor, you are on and we enter you will go down to a deeper level so there you go if I clear the entire battles in the floor I will go to a, deep, to a deeper level that's what should happen so but it's not working so and a lot of people this is not working for a lot of people so I wanted to find out what's up with that so here I have this email from Natara she says hello muskrat thank you for the wait Please note that according to the Mirage Rune system, you might not be able to move to a higher stage when your total strength is not enough. Also, depending on the stages cleared, failed, the additional strength to your total strength will be increased, decreased. Please feel free to contact us if the go back pop-up pop -up still appears, even if your strength has been satisfied, or if you have any further questions. Well, first of all, all right, so I'm kind of getting this. I have to think about it a little bit. But how would I know if my strength has been satisfied or not? I don't know. It's not telling me you have reached 35% of your total strength required. It's not telling me that, so I don't know. But if I look at the sign fours again, it says, it is said that the Mirage runes are assigned according to the average combat power of your team. Um, okay, so what we do know is that when you start at level one, if you beat the Mirage Runes, you're not going to be asked to do level 2. You'll be asked to do level 10 next time because the game knows that you're really strong. And so the game assigns you to floor 10. It doesn't assign you to floor 2. So these floor assignments are not necessarily sequential. You, it can, you can jump is what I'm saying. We know that because that's the way it's always been. But jumping back... It doesn't make sense that you would jump back. It does say you should go to a deeper level. But here's what Natara, what Natara was saying is, um, depending on the stages cleared, failed, the additional strength to your total strength will be increased, decreased. That means, to me, that means every time you beat one of the stages on the floor, it'll take the combat power of that team that beat it and adds it to a total and of course if you fail I guess it subtracts from that total but so essentially if you beat a floor with a really high combat strength that'll be added to the total and if you beat a floor with a really low combat strength well that'll be added to the total too and then it looks at the total looks at your total strength for all the stages and it says yay or nay, you cannot proceed or you can proceed based on its its algorithm for how it assigns floors. That's what it looks like. And in this case, um, I tried to use the uh, the Robin strategy, which is a, I mean it works. He's a he's a one star natural one star hunter. Upgraded to I've upgraded him to five stars, but still he's he's pretty weak as far as combat power goes But I used the the Robin strategy to beat all these floors and uh, He's he's weak and the, the healers that he needs to support him are also pretty weak So it's clear to, it's easy to see why my combat power may not have been enough to proceed this to the next floor But what can you do if you don't have enough? Uh, strength even when you're using your best units well I mean other than wait for more units uh, stronger units which could be a long wait um, well here's an idea because I think there's this thing here about the fully active hunters 
and I, I was able to access this list by pressing the current tips button in the upper left corner. If I le read the help about active hunters, a minority of hunters will get the Mirage Ruins mysterious powers and be stronger than usual. While they are in the ruins, they will be able to activate more power and will alternate to and, and this power will alternate to different hunters every few days. So it looks like you can receive a bonus of additional strength by using these hunters and it will give you a bonus beyond what their normal strength is. And that extra bonus is probably what you need to get you past uh, some of the stages, I mean some of the, the floors with regards to total strength, the total strength of your team. So that's something to keep in mind. And so knowing that, and thanks to Natara for this explanation, um, I'm going to try again, and uh, hopefully I can get a little deeper on the Mirage Runes. I'd really love to finish it. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. Thanks everyone for listening, and I hope that was helpful to someone.